Um, this was written in honor of the premier masters of defense. My lover lies here sleeping, his curling locks all tossed. It's difficult to leave him now, but worse to dream him lost. And so I rise and don my jerkin proof belt on my blade, and go to walk the castle walls, for so my duties lay. Long ago I gave my oath to king and queen and land. By blade and skill, by heart and life, in their defense to stand. To be for folk of all degree a stern and mighty shield. And when I face the foe to win or die upon the field, I shall not yield. A year or more upon the farthest borders of this land. A grim and lonely post I've held as guardian I stand. That babes in arms may sleep in peace and mids walk to and fro. With no fear of invasion from our ancient deadly <coughs> foe. For long ago I gave my oath to king and queen and land. By blade and skill, by heart and life, in their defense to stand. To be for folk of all degree a stern and mighty shield. When I face the foe to win or die upon the field, I shall not yield. Now metal bends, any it may break when put to mortal test, and great intent may greatly fail when flesh is sorely pressed. But binding oath can lend new strength to trembling limbs and will, and aid the sworn and noble heart its duty to fulfill. And long ago I gave my oath to king and queen and land. <clears throat> by blade and skill, by heart and life, in their defense to stand. To be for folk of all degree a stern and mighty shield. And when I face the foe to win or die upon the field, I shall not yield. I shall not yield. I shall not yield.